firing we're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place let's move <sighs> oh God, the lock come on 
I thought I'd lost you. You were worried? You bet I was. You dying because the Get overrode my hack? Think of my reputation. Yeah, you were worried. Come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. Definitely Reaper Tech, but what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Point. Guess we can't take any chances. Shepard Commander, wait. We can assist you. You spoke with us. You know we would never agree to subjugation by the old machines. How do I know you're not under Reaper control? Our architecture prevents it. We are too complex. But we are being used to broadcast the command signal to all Geth. I'm here to destroy that command signal. Freeing us will end the signal. You may then destroy us if you deem it necessary. Okay, Legion. Nobody's gonna get destroyed. Just take it slowly, all right? Wait. You cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No. You successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. They only joined the Reapers to save themselves. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. The only other way was to die. It's hard to argue with a species trying to survive. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. Offline, we are free. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline.
Alert! Death reinforcements incoming!
Let's do it. Focus on the gas. We'll worry about the admirals later.
enemy gas fighter. Transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? I can't help them win this war if they're gonna go off half cock like this. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. I understand that you ignored the plan and charged in without thinking. The Dreadnought was a perfect time. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion said it could help us. For now, let's hear what it has to say. Understood, Commander. So you say you can help? Yes. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrel. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support failing. The 
The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Use what you got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought. But they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. 
This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? I would have deleted them in a second if I'd known rewriting the Geth was gift wrapping them for the Reapers. We also miscalculated their intent. We regret this error. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Maybe if I had the right incentive? No, that's not... My people need me here. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. We've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander?
Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? It's a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Get continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie? Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Commander. mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> 